In today's video I'll have a closer look at a couple of lures that has been super successful for me when it comes to catching bigger predators that is big pike, big perch, zander and so on. So yeah, stick around to find out more. <laughs> Before diving any deeper, I have to mention one thing, and it goes like that. I have paid for these lures out of my own pocket. As in, this video is not sponsored at all. Therefore, I can say whatever I like. Obviously, since I decided to review these lures, since they are working so well, I won't say anything bad about them. Well, one thing, but it will be later. So yeah, let's dive in. I guess I will start with this simpler version. And most likely you have seen these lures and it's a replica of Cannibal Shad from Savage Gear. Again, it's quite a detailed lure already. But in my opinion, it works so well. Not only because it looks like a fish, it has some fins here and here. It has some kind of eye or something kind of molded. But in my opinion, it works so well for two reasons. One, obviously, because it looks like a fish, as I mentioned, but other reason is that it kind of produces lots and lots of roll action once in the water and rigged on a correct size jihad. And I believe I will write jihad sizes right away. So for 10 centimeter lure, you want to be using around 3 slash 0 jihad or 2 slash 0 jihad. And that will be for 10 centimeter lure. If you are using 8 centimeter or 8.5 centimeter lure, then you want to be using about 1 or 1 slash 0. And if you will match these hook sizes, the rolling will be maximum almost or optimal on these lures. If you will go with a bigger jihad, Rolling action won't be present almost, or it will be reduced. Obviously, if you would go with a smaller hook, you would get even more rolling action, but then you would not hook as many fish, as simple as that. These sizes are more or less optimal for 10 cm and 8 cm lure. I'm not using anything bigger and smaller than that as well. I'm talking here about big fish. So yeah, as you can see in the water, these lures not only kind of produces a tail action but also rolling action so double trouble for the fish and most likely fish you know won't be able to kind of let swim by this kind of a lure given that the fish is active to some degree and when it comes to colors obviously this one was very very successful for me but also this one in clearer water seems to be doing the business quite well and you will see that this top one has a little bit of uv it's not a great amount but in my opinion it's just enough and the bottom one has no uv like at all but still it works very well so yeah, very cool, affordable lures. And when it comes to packaging, these ones are coming in kind of simple bag, like a plastic bag, as you can see. Nothing fancy, but then again, it has like a semi-hard tray, just to make sure you know that the lures would not deform whilst in transportation. Simple deal, works well. And this variation, I believe, is replica of again cannibal shed ever it's called again from savage gear but just look at all some details eyes fins kind of skin effect with painting just ridiculous and again very very chunky lure and it kind of produces similar action as those sim simpler ones so tail wriggles and also it has plenty of roll action, but I would say roll action is kind of a, of a greater frequency, if you will. So 
if those would would go like a little bit slower those ones would go like like more but maybe kind of less of a roll i would say just goes like that almost and these ones just go like so yeah still those are super effective lures obviously one thing i will mention right away since the paint job on these lures is so fancy don't expect it to last forever you know uh, but still it will last a while first thing that goes i noticed will be ice ice will get kind of scratched away after you will catch a few fish but again it does not change the main thing that is the action on these lures and those kind of bigger patches of color so fins and kind of back here those seems to remain quite well when it comes to coloring but yeah super fancy looking lures just look at that guys And when it comes to hook size, the same applies. So for 10 centimeter lure, you want to be using three slash zero or two slash zero. I would prefer actually two slash zero, a little bit smaller hook, unless you know you are missing bites. And then for the eight and a half centimeter lures, both are good, one or one slash zero. Depends really. I would say maybe one slash zero would be okay or my preferred op option for eight and a half centimeter lure. And again, once I chuck it into the water, you will see that the tail is wriggling and also it has plenty of roll action. And when it comes to packaging, it's quite good. As you can see, molded trays of a kind of hardish plastic. So really decent protection. And I bought a bunch of these lures and yeah, every single one just is kind of perfect once you take it out. When it comes to the colors, I have noticed that all colors work uh, on these fancy cannibal sheds. So I caught a few fish on these, roach imitations. Then this yellow has been very, very good, like yellow and orange top here. Then one day it was kind of the water coloring was kind of funny I don't know not exactly clear not exactly uh, colored so this perch imitation was just killing it I could not get easy bites on anything else but this perch color was real really good and yeah most of the colors has plenty of UV in them like especially those painted bits like this roach I don't know how well you can see but those fins are just glowing and obviously it's those bright ones they are very very UV infused so yeah very fancy lures and I have a few which I used already a few times and you will see that the eyes are starting to kind of go off a little bit but again it does not change how well these lures do work I mean still they will still wriggle the tail and will produce that roll action and that's the most important thing colors yes will be important as well but in my opinion on these lures the most attractive thing is that action on the lure not color so much color will be important but kind of action will be more important in my opinion all in all great really lures try them out just as i said make sure to choose correct hook size according to the lure size other than that i'm certain that you will catch plenty of fish and you will get plenty of bites from big fish as well and yeah if you will decide to try a few of these lures out make sure you will click on these links in the description below but that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next one